Hey guys, this is a re-upload of my original review. I hope it gets some traction because when you're a small channel, sometimes your video won't get into search, even if people are specifically looking for it. So, uh, you know, fingers crossed on that one. But when I did this, I didn't have these examples. So these are some things that, you know, these are very quick ink drawings I did. And then I, uh, then I went in with watercolor just, you know, kind of quickly. Uh, I had a Dracula around here somewhere, but I don't know what I did with that. But you guys can see, uh, you know, how this turned out. And the reason I'm showing these is because I don't really, uh, I just show you how the colors lay down and kind of blend together and everything in the review. So I don't really, you know, draw anything. As a matter of fact, this guy was the first one I did to just kind of see with the heavy inks and everything. So, uh, but these are the other ones I did by OC Lauren Talbane and uh, Hanover's girlfriends and Nicta from Epitaph Bread and Salt. So, so now you have a little bit more that you can judge on based on how complex the thing you're doing actually is. So let's jump into it. Hey guys, Nathan Brandon Masters. This is the Paul Rubens 300 GSM 50% cotton watercolor pad. Now I got this off of Amazon. I actually got it for free. Uh, I got it with some points I had saved up on Amazon and uh, I've been wanting to get this just to try it out. Now if you want to work with cotton paper and uh, you just don't have uh, a ton of money, you want to try to you know, get in there as uh, inexpensively as possible, but you want nice paper. There's some 50% cotton pads out there that seem to hold water pretty well. Uh, Fabriano makes one. I've seen people use their 50% cotton pad and it seemed like it worked very well, almost worked as well as their 100% cotton pad. So uh, we're going to see how this pad works. Now in the last video, you guys know I used the Behong Academy pads. Those are 100% cotton. But from what I can tell, nobody has actually reviewed uh, this pad. Uh, I haven't seen anybody review. I've seen people review Paul Rubin's uh, cotton paper, the 100% pads, but I haven't seen them review the 50% pad. Now, uh, I could have missed it or something, but as far as I know, no one has checked this out yet. So, uh, of course, Paul Rubin, classy, classy. Check that out. You have a little sheet over here to protect the actual paper. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's see, where is my... And uh, this is something you want to do. Instead of using uh, an X-Acto knife, <laughs> like like I've been using, you actually want to use a palette knife or a letter opener. So uh, that will keep you from destroying the paper underneath. One thing you're seeing is you're seeing uh, a lot of the oil on my hands come off on the pad here. So uh, if you use lotion or anything like that on your hands, a trick you might want to do is... Uh, put a little bit of alcohol on a towel and just kind of put it on the sides of your hands, the sides that may be touching the paper. I don't know how much uh, touching of the paper my hands will actually do, but just in case, I did. I'm gonna start, and, we, and we're putting a lot of water on here, okay? A lot of water, this is not, you know, I'm not giving this any, uh, you know, any kind of, uh, breaks or anything because it's not 100% cotton. We're, we're soaking this thing up right here. Just so you can see that we're doing that. All right, so what I did was I got a lot of blue, big thing of blue here, and I just tapped it. See how that's spreading? Look at that spread right there. That's spreading. And, uh, I've seen people do this kind of thing and uh, kind of make stuff happen, but it never works out for me. But you can see how this is spreading. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing what you guys know I do. I don't know if I can say do so well, but <laughs> that you guys know that I do. Look at this. As far as this, as far as I can tell, so, you know, from this, this looks like a great spread. Um, so now I'm going to try not to freak out and try to, you know, I have this need to always try to, uh, 
make the make the art perfect. I'm not going to do that because I always end up. Now I'm saying I'm not going to do that while I actually go back in and do it. But uh, you get the point. I'm going to try to actually let it be a little bit more organic. Okay, so look at this spread right here. So what I'm going to do, I, I gone in with some some yellow and uh, started from the bottom here. And I went up and I let the blue and the yellow mix. So I don't know if it's going to look as cool as it did in the first one, but we'll see what happens. We're going to do that. All right. Here's what you see right there. Take a look at how that blends in. What you think right there, let me know. Now, what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to move some of this paint that's here in the middle. I'm going to try to lighten it up. I'm going to try to do that with just water. So I'm going to try to do it without putting any white paint on there. So let's see what we can do here. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you're seeing that I'm going to grab Let's dry this up over here a little bit. In fact, let's go ahead and do just like that right in the middle there. There you go. All right. Now, let's try to raise this up into this area. Just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, let me get the yellow off of there. And uh, go back in, get some water, not too much. Dry off a little bit there. Now I'm not going to say that this is going to come out like uh, as awesome as I've seen other artists do it, but the idea is that it can be done on here. And I think I want to get a little bit more in there, get a little bit more water. Hey guys, I'm in the edit and I just want to be uh, sure I was being clear about what I was trying to show uh, with this. I'm actually surprised at how well this paper is holding up. Uh, you saw I put a lot of water on this paper. Remember, this is a budget paper. It's 50% cotton. It's from China. And I put all this water on the paper and I'm able to to move the color around. I'm able to do all this stuff with this paper. The paper is not tearing up. The paper is not uh, coming apart. And uh, I'm able to actually move water into the color to separate the color, 
take it up off the page like I did. Not to mention the fact that the color was blending. You see the blue, uh, the blue, the way it was blending in with the yellow before I took it up. This paper is doing everything that cotton paper is supposed to do. So if you do watercolors and you work with cotton paper, let me know what you think in the comments. I really like this. If you're a student or you're looking to save some money, you want to get that cotton paper, but it's too expensive, especially those big brands, Arches, it's not cheap. Fabriano isn't necessarily cheap. This is roughly five by seven pad, 20 sheets, runs about 10 bucks. It's a good deal. I think that this paper may even be a better deal than the Behong 100% cotton paper. That's my thought, okay? And I know that there may be some people who would do Well, I don't know if there's any people that would differ or not at all because, uh, like I said, I haven't seen anybody uh, review this pad yet. So uh, I think, personally, that this held up better. I think that this is a better value. I think the sizing is better. And I think the ink and everything, you know, I can't say that the water held up better. The water did hold up well on the bay hung. So I have to say that they do have bigger pads of this and they kind of go up and down in price. Sometimes you can catch them at $16 and then sometimes you catch them at 19. So keep your eye out for that on Amazon. And uh, I will leave a link in the description. Of course, it will be an affiliate link. So I, if you buy this, I will get a little something back at no extra cost to you. So that's pretty much everything, guys. I do have one more pad. I have, have a pad of Beihong Academy Hot Press. So that's for more like pen and ink kind of work. Texture isn't so pronounced. Uh, and it's also, I believe that's also 300 GSM. So we'll check that out at some point as well. Uh, you guys take it easy. Nathan Brandon Masters. Hasta. Don't look back, we're here to stay. A life we knew would come one day. And this is it. Future leaves us behind The fire will burn and never die Looking through the eyes of a brand new life It's so